The Philippines is one of the countries with vast amounts of metallic and non-metallic mineral resources. In fact, as of 2021, there is about 3.31 million metric tons of Class A copper reserves in the country. From these reserves, the industry mainly produces copper concentrates, cathodes, and wires. Specifically, eight simple products define the copper industry in the Philippines. These are concentrates, unrefined copper, refined copper and alloys, cast rods, bars and profiles, copper wires, plates, sheets and strips, coils, and tubes and fittings. Of these products, the copper foils and wires have the highest demand from local industries. Electronics production makes use of copper foils, while automotive parts manufacturer utilize copper in automotive wires and harnesses. In addition, since the world moves to cleaner transport and sustainable energy resources, the electric vehicle market and solar power industry have experienced tremendous growth locally and globally. This boom will have a substantial impact on the demand for high-purity copper. In order to keep up with the increasing demand, the vision of a fully integrated copper industry promoting higher value copper products must be realized. To actualize this vision, the Alternative and Advanced Copper Processing Technology or AC program was developed. Each component project intends to address a gap in the copper industry roadmap. Specifically, this project, the Electro Refining Process Development for the production of 6 lines copper cathodes or copper refine, aims to maximize value and venture into new copper applications. For a brief overview of the main methodology, Electro refining refers to the process of using electrolysis to increase the purity of a metal. Here, the impure anode is immersed in an electrolyte which is an acidified copper sulfate solution. When an electric current passes through the electrolyte, the copper in the impure anode dissolves. This copper ion then migrates to the cathode, gains two electrons, and deposits into the cathode. By close control of the electrorefining parameters, a pure copper cathode is obtained. 6N copper generally has the following properties. At very low temperatures, it has high electrical and thermal conductivity. It also has low softening temperatures and high workability due to fewer non-metallic inclusions and voids. Because of these properties, 6N copper is used in many advanced applications. 6N copper wires are widely used for superconducting magnetic resonance magnets in medical devices, cryogenic systems, and high voltage cable assemblies in electric vehicles. On the other hand, high purity copper wire, shot, pellets, and rods are important precursors for the synthesis of advanced materials, including compound semiconductors such as copper indium gallium selenide or CIGS and copper zinc tin sulfide or CZTS, which are useful for solar cells. Lastly, 6N copper is also being used as a rebounding wire for integrated circuits and cables for audio devices. The success of this copper refined project is expected to add value to cathode exports, prompt local production of raw materials for the manufacture of copper products for advanced applications, and increase production rates and generate more jobs. I am John Lowell P. Bukis, project leader of the copper refined project, and in behalf of Dr. Candy C. Mercado, Thank you for listening.